locking myself in my home and i don't want to go to no parties little baby so don't send invites to my phone she said i'm an asshole for no hey what's going on guys welcome back to a new video today i'm showing you how to do the lmgk zoom box effect on davinci resolve i feel like a lot of people will benefit from knowing how to do this uh the flea and million tutorial should be coming soon but uh my recording has kept on corrupting so i've just decided to do this first but the flea and million tutorial will be coming soon so yeah so let's just get straight into this tutorial for now so first what you want to do is you want to open your files and you want to drag in your clips and stuff so what you want to do first is you want to drag in your clip so i'm just going to drag this in here next i'm just going to go ahead and find my music as well so now i'm going to be showing you how to do the effect so first you want to look into your music and then a, mo a lot of songs there will be like a, a subtle like three beat drops in the background for example here there are three beat drops in the background and i don't want to go to no party you can tell that there is just like three beat drops in the background, so let's just go ahead and mark them. Um, you mark by pressing M on the keyboard after you select your uh, clip. And I don't go to no part. Let's just go ahead and move it to where the clip, sh where the marker should be. And I don't want to go to no party. So you can see that there are three beat drops in this song. A lot of songs for Fortnite montages, there will be like two to three beat drops just like this. So you want to sync it to the, the beat drops. So now what we're going to do is let's just go ahead and really quickly cut the clip. Um, it doesn't really matter where I'm going to be cutting the clip because it's just a random clip and there doesn't need to be a gun shot. So what you're going to do is you're going to find the first like f find the beginning of the clip and you want to sync it to the first beat drop uh first marker and this should be pretty easy because it's going to sync up automatically so this is how it's going to look for now it's going to the clip is just going to appear on this beat drop I get myself in my home and I want so it looked pretty nice for now all right so now that we have the first frame synced to the first beat drop we're just going to go ahead and delete it we're just going to go ahead and unlink our audio because if the audio is linked, we will not be able to uh, do the next step. So the next step is going to be is going to be duplicating this uh, layer or this clip. So what you want to do is you're going to drag up. You want to hold alt and then you want to hold the clip and then drag up. And then there will be a duplicate layer of the clip. And then after that, what you you just want to go ahead and go to the last uh, last marker here, go on the second clip, I, go on the last marker and the second uh, second uh, layer. You want to go ahead and press Control B to cut it. Now what you want to do after that is you want to make sure you disable the first layer by pressing D on the first layer, and we're just gonna go ahead and make sure we. And now we're going to go ahead and select the second layer, go into Fusion, and we're just going to go ahead and use a whatever blur you want to use. I'm going to use this regular blur that's in DaVinci Resolve. Um, it's just blur with the water sign next to it, and you're just going to add, and the blur size, just change it up to like around like 15 or so. Um, the 15. And just go back into the... Uh, edit tab and re-enable the top clip by pressing D again on it now what we want to do is go to the first frame make sure on the first frame and make sure you're on the first like make sure on the first frame of the top layer and go into fusion now, you, now that you're in fusion you want to go ahead and press shift space and search up transform and just go ahead and press enter after the transform is selected now what you want to do is go ahead and change the size to around 0.7 so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it to 0.7 that's how it's gonna look and make sure the edges is on canvas alright so after that we're just gonna go back to the edit tab make sure we're on the edit tab and make go to the second marker or the second uh, uh, second beat drop and just go ahead and go into fusion again go into fusion again you want to click this orange dot to keyframe the size and you want to go left one frame and you want to keyframe the size again go back to the f uh, frame that you just keyframed which is so you go right one more frame 
and then you just put, change this to 0.85 so now after that we're just gonna go ahead and go into the last uh, beat drop here and then same thing go into fusion what you want to do is keyframe this frame um, and then go left one frame uh, keyframe it again and then go right another frame and what you're going to do after, on this keyframe is just change it to one so this is how it's gonna look and i don't want to go to no parties little baby so don't send invites to my phone she said i'm an asshole so yeah that looks pretty clean and it's basically the same thing as the lmgk effect um yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a short shorter one but yeah just hope you guys enjoyed this um the flea and million tutorial should be out pretty soon as well but yeah um hope see you guys in the next one peace